Should you start with Facebook, Google ads or TikTok ads? That's one of those questions which I constantly get asked and I want to address this this video. So I know that there's a lot of confusion in the dropshipping space about how these platforms actually perform. A lot of people say that TikTok is the new Facebook. A lot of people say that Facebook is saturated and basically a lot of people actually don't even talk about Google. So we're going to clear up everything about those three platforms and let's start with the first one. So the first platform I want to talk about is Google and there you have three things which are actually very important, which are completely different than an, on any other platform. Number one is it's people who actively search for your product. All right. So it's not like Facebook where you just throw a product in their face and they like you, you want them to buy it. It's very, very different. For example, a person Google is just something like white table. They're going to find a bunch of white tables. Okay. And that's a product which you could actually sell if you're basically on the very top and on the first ranked products, you're going to be able to generate just sales from active people who will want exactly your product. So it's actually pretty simple to get people to buy because it's literally them searching for it. Okay. So they actively search for your thing. And then we need to consider two things. Number one, high ticket stuff works better on Google. Okay. I wouldn't recommend going for super low ticket. Obviously it works, but um, I wouldn't recommend going super low ticket on Google ads because anyways, you just pay for the click. So basically the person coming to your website and there is just way more sustainable to actually make everything more high ticket. Okay. So the example of like, like literally a table, which is huge and way more expensive is actually a pretty good one. And I would never recommend selling something like that on Facebook. However, on, on Google, it actually makes sense. And those people who were on your website, then you can retarget them on Facebook and start showing them the white table on Facebook. Then it makes sense, but only as a retargeting. Okay. Because it's again, people who search for a white table. So they want one. And the last thing, which is very different from Google to all the other platforms is it's all about the pictures. Okay. The pictures here are so much more important than on Facebook or on TikTok because you're not going to have a video which explains everything. You're just going to have the person searching for it, seeing the product, clicking on it and then buying immediately. Okay. So there's no video ad or no explanation. And there it's also very important to understand that you don't have to re-explain the product itself if it's a general one. If it's just, if it's a logical product, which it doesn't need like a lot of explanation, that's the product you want to sell. Because if a person's searching for a white table and then they see some crazy thing, which is like added on, like onto the table and has like those 25 extra features, they're not going to understand what this table all can do because you don't have the video yet and it's not shown primarily. You just see that it's for whatever reason more expensive and most people then just click away and don't understand that this table actually has something more to offer. So that's Google. And now let's talk about TikTok. So the first very big positive about TikTok is you're going to get a lot of cheap traffic. Okay. So to get a person from TikTok to uh, to, to your store, it's so much cheaper than actually getting a person from Facebook to your store. However, and this is a big issue. Traffic is not equal to sales. A hundred people on your store doesn't mean that you're going to make X amount of money. It's not that the conversion rate from TikTok leads are, is the same as the conversion rate of Facebook leads. And that's the issue here. You need to understand that the soft metrics don't really count if you don't make money. So you have cheaper traffic, but it's also shittier traffic. Okay. So it's lower quality traffic, which doesn't really work, which you just need to keep in mind. Okay. So there is a trade off. You're going to have way lower CPMs and way lower conversion rates. Okay. Those two things will happen for sure. Now, am I saying that TikTok is bad? No, TikTok works for sure. Now I'm going to give you a couple of niches, which you actually should use and which ones you, you should avoid. So really good one is jewelry, beauty, fitness and some like satisfying products. So like those four types of products are good. All the other things I would probably not start out with. I've just seen that the success ratio is so much higher with jewelry, beauty, fitness and satisfying products. Okay. Those four niches are the way to go. That's just what you start out with, with for whatever reason. You don't have to question it. It just is proven to work better for, for whatever reason. I have no idea why, but, but from all the products we tested on TikTok and I've seen students test, those four niches are sticking out way, way more than anything else. Then the next thing about TikTok is the cycling is way quicker. So what I mean by that is you test a product, it doesn't work, you kill the product, you test the next product. That's a very rapid process. You test it, it doesn't work, 
you immediately switch. You don't do crazy amount of split tests. You don't test a bunch of new creatives, a bunch of new product pages. It doesn't work, you move on. It doesn't work, you move on. And you're gonna have to go through a couple of products, but when you find a winner, you're gonna make obviously all the losses back, which you, which you kind of lost throughout the process of finding that winner, okay? And the positive about this is you don't have to lose a lot of money to know that it's not a winning product. So after like 50 to $100 spent, you immediately turn everything off and just move on. Okay, that's a little bit different on Facebook, especially if you're selling in the US and not like European Union. So the difference there is very, very big and I wouldn't do a crazy amount of split test. Now again, what the trade-off here is, is that unfortunately TikTok products are not as sustainable in long term as Facebook or Google. Okay, so if you have a winning product on Facebook, it's pretty much going to be way more consistent if you do things right than on TikTok. On TikTok, what's going to happen is if you hit like good numbers, a few thousand dollars per day for a consistent like month or two, it can drop off radically. And I also have seen that happen way quicker. So you make like only 40K in revenue and things just drop off immediately. And you cannot really do anything about it except for like testing a bunch of creatives. But if they don't work, you just need to move on. And I've seen that saturation just happens quicker on TikTok. And there, there's of course a way to fight it. And you're going to have to do a lot of things to, to do that. However, on Facebook, you're not going to have this quick of a drop initially anyways, um, like on TikTok. Now, the last thing regarding to TikTok is obviously the format of the ads are going to be different. So you're basically going to have like full screen ads instead of those like square ones, like what you use on Facebook. And also the music is very interesting. So you're going to be able to use way more music for your ads than on Facebook because it's way easier with all the copyright issues. So on TikTok, you can actually search for a lot of really, really good, good songs, which, which you can put on the ads and which actually boost performance. I've seen that music actually matters a lot if you do it right. If you have like a really fitting song which fits perfectly to the video and also sometimes even like has a drop where you have a cut and everything is a good fit, it makes the video stand out, go viral and make you more money. I have another video talking about organic traffic. I'm not going to do, I'm not going to talk about that today. So with organic traffic, you for sure can make a couple hundred dollars in profit if you do it right, like every single week. However, it's not this thing which is just going to go super, super crazy and you're going to like sustainably live from that. Okay. So I, I see that more as a thing which is like a leverage for you to get more budget. And with that budget, then you're going to start with Facebook ads or like proper TikTok ads. I'm not saying that it's impossible to get rich with like um, organic traffic. However, it's going to be very, very hard. Now let's talk about Facebook and off the bat, I'm going to tell you the main money you're going to do with dropshipping is going to come from Facebook. All right. In almost all of the cases, you will have a winner, which you found on Facebook, and then you can transfer it to other platforms and you can add things on. Okay. The sustainable, consistent sales you're going to make every single month should normally come from Facebook. And that's what I've basically seen with almost everybody happening. Most people will make the most amount of money with Facebook and the other things are just like added bonuses. You can do Pinterest ads, TikTok ads, Snapchat ads, Google ads. We can actually also cover Pinterest and Snapchat in another video, but here we need to understand that Facebook is going to be the main source of income consistently. The first thing which is different about Facebook than TikTok is you're going to take your time with the tests, especially if you're like in the top five or US selling. It's a little bit different if you're selling in Europe, but if you are testing in the top five, you will need to make consistent split tests after things don't work. Okay. So if you see something that doesn't work, you're still going to have to test the next thing, test the new creative, test the new offer, test new things um, to make sure that it actually is not a winning product because sometimes you can just test the right thing and then it pops off and it like becomes a winner. Okay. So that doesn't usually happen on TikTok. Obviously again, it can happen, but it's just more rare. It's also more expensive traffic and it's better traffic. And the same thing goes for like Google. Google is even better traffic, but it's also way more expensive. The golden rule is to look at the ROAS and not the soft metrics because it's such a big problem. A lot of people have, they think, all right, I'm going to get the cheapest traffic and that's going to make me a lot of money. No. Unfortunately, the cheapest traffic is in a lot of the cases make you going to make you the least amount of money. So that's just something to consider. And also talking about like the whole iOS thing and people talking about Facebook being saturated. No, there is irrefutable visual evidence on my channel that currently Facebook works right now. All right. It's irrefutable. It's a hundred percent true that you can make money on Facebook after all this iOS bullshit happened. 
okay? It's possible. Did it get harder? Yes. Are we still able to track most of our sales? Yes. Is it a little bit more difficult to get all the data? Yes. Is that a problem? Not that big of a problem. So I wouldn't take this as an excuse to not get started with Facebook because you will make most of the money from Facebook if you do it right. And you will have a bunch of problems. You're going to get blocks a bunch of times. You're going to have tons of issues with annoying things you're going to deal with, with on Facebook but it's worth it because you're gonna make a lot of money through it. So that's basically that. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe to the channel. And also if you wanna start working with me one-on-one, -on -one, click the link below, sign up for a free consultation session and we're gonna figure out if everything is a good fit. If yes, we're gonna start working together. And yeah, see you there.